She took this money and say, boy, you right. Party, party through the day and night, day and night. And we like whipping hot space. To this wonderful video. Uh -huh. Yep, I'm going to be explaining something right now. Some of y'all probably haven't heard. Some of you guys probably have. But, on the Gas Mash Tribe TV podcast, where we like to filter out that bull, we love to take little stuff like this that comes across our desk. Yes, <coughs> where did I find this? I found this on the lovely, awesome, great, Tick Tizak. Uh-huh. And, let me just give you a quick introduction to who I am. My name is Big. I run this great corporation, I'm sorry, this great entertainment company which has a corporation um, designated as Head Knockers, but we are called Biz Entertainment. Yep, and I had to make sure that as an entertainer, as a performer throughout the waves, with 20 years experience, I had to be able to come with a podcast that gives you guys what I view on life and how I love filtering out life's bullshit, okay? Now with this, part right here, I want you guys to get a whiff of this, this is probably, I want to call it, um, unstable creature times 10, if you guys ever seen Friday, then you know what I'm talking about, this is unstable creature times 10, I can't say the crazy word, because I'm only in about a minute and 45, maybe 50 seconds. But as soon as we get past two minutes, oh, I'm going to be cussing my ass off. I'm going to be cussing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to get down to it. Par par parental advisory. Mm -hmm. For some of y'all to understand. You did. Some of you guys, kids, should not be watching this. You know why? Because this is something I'm going to get here that's going to be able to teach you. But if you're a teenager or a child that's watching this, understand that this is not something that you should be able to mimic as you get older. Learn how to be your damn self. Ain't nobody else. You dig? Uh-huh. So I have to play this thing, man, to, for you guys to understand. Mm -hmm. Said I see yeah. men as a business. So yeah. if I if I see you and I think I could get you, even if I could get a thousand, five hundred, two hundred, I don't give a fuck what it is. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get it. You should take fuck? a kidney no, about him. No, you're not. So you heard it. She said I look at men as a business. Even if I could get a hundred, two hundred, three thousand. 5,000, 500 million, whatever the case may be, you a business to her. So there's a story out right now I want you guys to understand that this is a real fucking thing. Why? Why, Biz? Why does it matter? Why? Because this is a wave of women. This is a culture of women who are doing this, right? These are not a bunch of Kevin Fetter lines. See, if dudes kept this type of, you know, weird shit going on, it's really misogynistic, if you ask me. It's like women who hate men who literally wants to fuck them over and take all their money and leave them strand stranded, pretty much. But there's a woman um, by the name of Wendy Jen. Wendy? Wendy? She literally got her man for a half a billion dollars. Yep. She took the half a billion dollars to her boyfriend on the side that was taken. She had a man on the side. Why should we date him? Well a wife to this billionaire who's like the owner of Fox Network or some shit like that. You get what I mean? Like, this is real, people. She said, I look at men as a business. This woman who I'm speaking of came from nowhere. A little poor town in China. Didn't even have panties. She didn't even have crackers to eat nothing finagled her way in the game and now she is balling out of control I mean literally out of control she's rich people not only she's rich she made it possible that her kids can receive equity off the company's earnings oh my Whew. and some of you women out here still fighting for child support you know I've seen this on TLA TLA uh, uh, the lead attorney he spoke about this and this was shocking to me. Well, in his form, it's a it's a attorney point of view, but in my point of view, it's a entertainer perspective. Literally, this is not for 
the guy who has a construction job. This is not. These women ain't hunting for dudes like that. They're hunting for dudes who got the bag. So all you entertainers like myself, all y'all out there, this is the type of women you need to watch out for. Why are you lighting your bleezy? You hear what I mean? Right. No, you're not. Right. You already let the taxi cab driver make you gullible to say he's going to buy me a car. Mm -hmm. That's what you say. A fucking taxi cab driver told you that he's just going to buy you a car. This man struggling in his motherfucking self. Uber, Lyft, all of them been whooping him. He's still a lick. <laughs> Come on, he has He's nothing. Man, that man has nothing. That man has nothing. He got what's credit. he gonna buy you? He got a Hyundai credit. Sonata? He got but credit. what's he gonna buy you? He a Hyundai got Sonata? Credit. For real? He got what's credit. he gonna buy credit you? Power. His credit. But he can come take King that shit credit. back from you because that shit's still in his name. Yeah, See, we, let me tell you something, homie. We did that game a long motherfucking time ago. <laughs> where bitches me. was going and get. Listen, we did that game a long time ago. Where bitches was going, you know. That's facts. That's facts. People may not see what he's talking about. <coughs> She's willing to get money off of anybody. I know I mentioned the construction worker and I mentioned how this ain't for them and da 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 da. But I recall, man, like I, I I take that back. You know, this man just said it out perfect. He's like she'll get a taxi driver. She will literally hunt the taxi driver just because the taxi driver said, I'll buy you a Honda Sonata. She'll take it. I don't care. Whatever. This is a low life right here. This is a low life female biatch who don't give a fuck about what she does and how she maneuvers just as long as she get over on niggas. And you know what's crazy? That most of you women out there, y'all would praise this bullshit. Y'all would literally give her the most biggest praise. Girl, get your body big, get your body. Right? And she'd be the main one in your ass stuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She has a rude awakening coming. Mm hmm She'll find out. And I'm sure you will, too, whoever has that same like-minded thinking. I just have to filter out the bull. That's it. Exactly. Gas Mask Stripe TV Podcast, where we filter out that bull. I'm your host, Biz. And uh, go check out that music, Dirty Harper Podcast. I mean, not podcast but dirty hobby music on itunes spotify all that great stuff see y'all soon Chia.